Hi guys, what's going on? It's the Digital Tutor here with another step-by-step -step tutorial. In today's video, I'm just going to show you how to upgrade Windows 11 early to the final version. Um, so if you find this video helpful, please leave a like and drop a comment below. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more step-by-step -step tutorials, how-tos and tips and tricks for everything tech and digital related. So to do this, the first thing you're going to want to do is actually come to um, Google. So you can use any browser and just type Windows 11. Then what you want to do is just click onto the top result which comes up. And the first thing we're going to want to do is actually run a health check on your PC. So you just want to make sure that your PC is compatible for Windows 11. So what you're going to want to do once, once you open this page is actually scroll down all the way to the bottom. If you keep going and go in and eventually you're going to get to this one, which is a picture of a heart and it says check for compatibility. And what you're going to want to do is just click this link here, which says download PC health check app. And this is the first thing we're going to want to do just to make sure um, that the PC we're using is compatible with Windows, uh, Windows 11. So once that's downloaded down here, you just want to click to open that up. And then go ahead and run the install wizard. It just takes a minute or two to run through. Um, obviously accept the terms of the agreement. Click install. So it can take a minute or two just to run through and get everything set up and installed ready uh, for the health check. Uh, but obviously you do want to do this before going ahead and installing Windows because Windows 11 is not compatible on all older machines. Okay, so you can see that's just going through, that's just coming to the end now. Um, so that's all done and you've got a couple of options which are going to come up. Uh, so what you want to do, obviously you want to do this straight away, so you want to leave the top option ticked to open your Windows PC health check. You don't need to worry too much about adding a shortcut, but the option is there available if you want to. And then go ahead and click finish. So after that's done, what's going to happen, you're going to get a screen which looks like this, PC health check. And what you're going to want to do is just click the button at the top, this blue button which says check now. And what this is going to do is basically run through and tell you if it's, uh, if your machine that you're using is compatible. So you can see at the moment that it says my PC doesn't currently meet the Windows 11 system requirements. Um, Check to see if there are things you can do, and if not, you'll keep getting Windows 10 updates. So you can see that basically what's happened is I've got two messages come up, and obviously it could be different for you. It depends on uh, your PC specifications. But in my case, what I need to do is basically enable TPM 2.0, uh, but the process I'm using, which is an Intel Core i5, isn't currently supported for Windows 11. And what you can do at the bottom, you can see device specifications and see all results. So if I click on see all results, you'll see it's going to bring up all the results and you can see a lot of the boxes are ticked. Uh, but it's just these two ones, which is a problem. Um, but if your PC is compatible, then what you'll need to do is actually come out of this. And then what you're going to want to do is come down to the search bar. So down here in the bottom left hand corner, and you want to go ahead and open up the settings then click to open the settings app and then from here what you're going to want to do is come down to update and security and then from here if you look at the menu on the left hand side what you're going to want to do is come down to where it says windows insider program and what's going to happen you're going to get a screen like this obviously as i say with my pc it does not meet the minimum requirements for windows 11 so the updates i'll get would just be for windows 10. obviously to use windows 11 i would have to be on a different device one that's compatible and has the uh, specifications required for Windows 11 but what you would do is basically click onto this button here which says get started and then it's going to ask you to link an account so this would be a Microsoft account and you can use the account that's registered to the uh, PC or laptop you're using or you can use a different account and once that's done, you just want to go ahead and click continue. And what it's going to do, if you've got any sort of pins or security set up, it's just going to ask you to enter that for uh, security. And then what's going to happen, you're going to get a message like this saying join the Windows Insider program. 
and it says you need an account registered in the Windows Insider program to get Insider Preview builds, register this account or switch to one that is already registered. So if you've not registered for the Insider program, all you want to do is come and click on to register and then click on to sign up and then accept, uh, tick the box to read and accept the terms of the agreement and click submit. And that's all you need to do to get registered. Um, so you see I've got a message now saying you're good to go. Thank you for registering for the Windows Insider program. Now let's get your device set up and then click close. And what it's going to do is just run through and take a minute to get everything uh, set up and ready. So what's going to happen after a minute or two when that's all registered and gone through? Uh, you should get a screen come up which looks like this and it's going to say release preview channel. Um, ideal if you want to preview fixes in certain key features plus get optional access to the next version of Windows 10 before it's generally available to the world. This channel is also recommended for commercial users. So what you're going to want to do is just go ahead and click on to confirm. And then click confirm again. And then what's going to happen, it's going to come up asking you to restart your computer. Uh, so what you would do is just go ahead and click on to restart now. Um, as I say, if your specifications do not meet the specs that you need for Windows 11, then what's going to happen, you'll just continue to get updates for Windows 10. Um, but if it does meet for Windows 11, once you restart your computer, you'll see what's going to happen. It's going to load up and it should be in Windows 11. So that's how you do it. And I hope you did find that helpful. If that did help, please leave a like and drop a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you do want to help support the Digital Tutor channel, there is a link in the video description down below. If you go and give that a click, you'll be able to buy the team here a cup of coffee. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.